What's going on y'all? It's Wayne. Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be starting our sixth installment of the Dream Room Makeover. I'm finally back from Italy so I can finally do this. I have a lot of stuff that I have not been able to open since I've been waiting for my time back. So yeah, today is going to be a pretty intensive video. Chapters will be available for you guys to follow along and these are the things that we're going to be doing. I know it's so bright, guys. Hold on, watch this. My favorite part of the ZV one. Bonk, look at that. Mmm. ND filter in this small dang camera. That is amazing. All right, we have a couple of places to go to. Hopefully everything goes according to plan. My wallet will definitely be crying because there's one big purchase that I have to do today. So, it's all for the best. I hope. <laughs> I'm going to Harbor Freight and I keep Ikea. So these are the things I'm looking at. We're gonna get something bigger and better. There it is. I'm gonna get this thing for setup. There it is. Just barely fit. Let's go. All right, there we go, guys. The Yukon nine drawer workbench is in the van. It barely fits. We have to move the chair just a tad bit. But yeah, now we're gonna be going to Ace Hardware Store and IKEA to get a couple of things, and then we're gonna make our way back home. Man, it's already starting really good today, man. <laughs> this John is gonna look so good in the dream room. I cannot wait to put it in there. That's cool. Yeah, man, I live right next to an Ikea. It's kind of fire, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> All right, so this is one of the things I was thinking of getting, an Ikea lac shelf, one of these guys. All right, one more thing that I was really interested in is this new Ikea like Asus collaboration they did. So this is how it looks, it's this Ikea Asus cable. But what I was really interested in is this cabinet over here. It has this pegboard and also a glass uh, showcasing system so I wanted to see maybe I can incorporate it with the setup but we will see all right so this is like the closest thing Ikea has that looks like my room all right, and then one more thing I really like how they have these like spotlights for the frames I might steal that as well for the JJK posters that I have So it's a bit heavy as I expected and me and my dad actually can't carry it up on our, on our own. So we're gonna actually take out every drawer one by one and then bring that upstairs and then hopefully it should be a little bit lighter for us to carry upstairs. It is a very, very heavy workbench but it looks so damn good.
right, it's been actually two days now and I couldn't really do anything yesterday because I had a wedding to shoot, but now I have some time to work on the workbench and I've actually started organizing a couple of things and you can also see a couple of changes up here with the pegboard. I'm gonna try to make the pegboard system uh, basically a keyboard station as well just because I have this giant workbench uh, to work with when I'm building keyboards now, so I think it's gonna be pretty cool. Please excuse the mess we are currently rebuilding, but that's always part of the process, so yeah. <laughs> So time for our sponsor, Gobi. They kindly sent out their brand new Gobi Glide Hexalite panels for me to add on to the dream room. This light is similar to the Gobi Glide, but now in a hexagon shape, which is a first for Gobi. So I think I'm gonna decide on putting the Govi Hexa lights on this corner of the room, just because I wanna take advantage of the flex cable so I can put it into different walls. Uh, so I'll have it on like one side of the wall and then have it transition to the other side next to the other window and just kind of add more lighting in this corner. And it kind of fits too, because my other Gobi light is over there. So I'm, I'm gonna try to put it up there and see how it looks. Uh, but for now, we're gonna have to set it up with the app and sync everything. And it should be a breeze as I've done it before with the Gobi Glide and it was super, super easy. So let's go ahead and do this and get this light installed. setup was simple and easy as there are adhesive strips in the back and it comes with flexible Lincoln cables which allows you to mount the light on different walls. Cool about this light is that it's actually pretty big and bright. It's also slightly extended from the wall which adds underglow to the panels. Just like all the other Govi RGBIC products, this light features preset scenes, an intensive DIY mode, and a music mode built in. Check out the Govi Glide Hexa panels in the description below. I love these lights so so much. Thank you Govi for sending these out.
that's gonna be it for Dream Room Makeover Part 6. This episode was so, so intensive and we did so many things from installing the hexagon lights to cleaning up the desk setup and just making this room a lot better in terms of decluttering and just organizing everything to make it much, much cleaner. I definitely enjoyed working on this episode as we literally revamped the whole room, not just focusing on one part of the room this time. So it was really a nice challenge for me to just look at this place and see what else I can improve on. And honestly, there might be a couple more things that I will be changing in the future. Who knows? That's just the whole process of building your dream room. If you guys enjoyed this video and if you have any comments or stuff like that, let me know in the comments below. I'll be interacting with all you guys and reading all your comments and trying to have conversations with y'all. And if you guys like this video, hit that like button. And if you guys want to stay tuned for some new projects in the future, as I actually will be working on some new rooms and setups, make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell. And lastly, all of this would not be possible without you guys. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much for the love and support in this series and in the channel in general. I truly cannot imagine myself being in this place like a couple of months ago. So all of this is just happening so fast and I'm still shocked that we're doing this right now. So yeah, that's it for the video. I really, really appreciate you guys. I love y'all. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.